Здравейте всички, надявам се, че сте успели да се насладите на обедната почивка и обяда и че вече сте готови за следващата ни тема. За нея специално, ай по принцип, а, искам да ви приканя да бъдете активни, най-вече хората, които ни гледат в момента онлайн, в Twitter с хештаг Бургасконф с лято или в а, страницата на събитието във Facebook, защото следващата презентация ще бъде с елемент на отворена дискусия. И е важно да разберем какво ви вълнува вас по отношение на самата тема. А темата ще бъде представена от една дама, която се занимава с... А, чиято инициатива има за цел да помогне на момичетата да имат равен старт в IT-сферата, а може би и цяло в живота. И с тези думи ви оставям в ръцете на Ана. Здравейте на всички. So, probably you are wondering what am I doing here and whether this is the right conference I was going to because to see a female speaker, especially at the tech conferences, is a rare thing, right? And we are actually lucky to have two today, uh, me and one more speaker. So, two words about me. I'm the founder and CEO of Coding Girls and I help girls to get started in coding and empower women to become tech leaders. But you probably have heard about gender gap in tech and it is quite a hot topic right now, these years. In my presentation, today I'm going to dwell upon the real issue of the gender gap in tech, give some facts and figures and provide a roadmap of how we can close the gender gap in tech. To begin with, having tech skills is no longer an option, it is a must-have. But the question is how big the gender gap in tech really is. I want you to do right now one thing. Please close your eyes and imagine a programmer. Ready? <laughs> Great. Open your eyes and raise your hand, the ones who imagine the man. Oh, yeah, I see. Did someone imagine a woman? One, two, three, four, five, six. Great, thanks. I was wondering who did you imagine? Great, thanks. Someone else? Who did you imagine? Someone famous or from your friends, colleagues? Colleagues, friends, yeah, great. So, despite decades of work and effort towards equality, women still remain underrepresented in the tech world. And the figures speak for themselves. 78% of uh, students cannot name a famous female working in tech. While women remain underrepresented in the tech sphere, they remain overrepresented in other spheres, especially in the spheres where you take part-time job, where no benefits, no room for improvement, and of course, no good pay. I'd like to present some more data. So, when girls are in sco at school, they usually have interest in studying a STEM subject. You can see the numbers are 64%. But meanwhile, when they become students at university, this number is becoming twice less, 30%. And as a result, women choose only 3% of women choose the tech career. As a result then, we have working engineers, only 11% that are female. Uh, we are even not talking about the leaders and the managers, but now I'm going to present one more information from Eurostat, which said that the managers that are in EU, they're less than 50%, which is a half, and less than 40%. Only 35% of women are managers in the EU. The question is what to expect in the nearest future. Gender gap is not just women's issue. It's also not a regional issue. It's not about just one country or one city. Gender gap is a global issue that affects the world as a whole. Uh, gender gap also is an economic issue. Girls and women should be treated equally in order to for countries to develop and prosper. And I want to present one numbers that was defined, said by the founder of Girls Who Code, Reshma Saujani. 
she's the founder and CEO, and she said that in three years, but two, 2020, there are going to be 1.4 million jobs in computer-related field. Can you imagine? Just in three years. The question is what the girls are going to do in these three years. But you may wonder also what stops women to get started in technology. And here are the marine barrier. As you can see, the first, the biggest one, there, there were five of them, but I took the most interesting, let's say. Lack of mentors, lack of role models, and gender bias in the workplace. Females aren't considering technology career because no one is actually putting it forward as an option to them. They also think that they might not be a good fit for a job and very interesting fact that in most cases men apply for a job when they meet 60% of requirements while women when they meet all 100%. And a lack of role models, in female role models, I mean, is reinforcing the perception that a technology career is not for them. And only 22% of students can name a famous female working in technology. And I wonder, can anyone name a famous female working in technology field? Yeah? Okay. Someone else? Any other examples? If you know someone, you can also write on Twitter or Facebook. It would be interesting to hear. Or someone who is watching us right now. Um, yeah. And uh, the question is, once we define the problem, what to do, how to get more women in tech, what can we all do? To begin with, everything starts in a childhood. Boys and girls from an early age are told what to like and what they are supposed to be. Thus, they start to believe that that is the only way. For example, girls are for girls, dolls and ribbons are for girls, but cars and trucks are for boys. And thus, they start, girls start to think that they shouldn't start their career in technology. The good news is that girls, when they play a game, they don't think oh, I do a programming, or I'm coding because I am a girl, or because I am a boy. I'm just having fun, and I like it, and I can do that. The other question is, is coding just a boy thing? Just yesterday, I went to a bookstore, and I saw two books. One book was called A Book for Every Girl. I mean, teenager girl. Another book was A Book for Every Boy. So I became curious. What do they say? What, what, the book, what is the book about? And I opened a book, firstly for boys, and I saw that there were different things. Yeah, okay, the things related to computer, the things related to how to organize your day. And I became curious, what about girls? Makeup, cosmetics, clothes, different blah, blah, blah thing, and nothing, nothing connected to technology, computer. And the question is, can we, can, I personally cannot imagine myself without a smartphone or a laptop. Can girls, don't girls need these tech skills? Yeah, that was also a question for me. That's why we need role models. There is a saying, you can't be what you can't see. But I would rather rephrase and say, you can be what you can see and you even can be what you can imagine. But sometimes for empowering girls, we need actually role models, and role models are the keys. Because a shortage of female role models is a major barrier. There is also a lack of understanding of how technology can enable women to change the world. Boys and girls do equally well at mass in elementary and middle school. At the age of 11, 12, girls start to lose their interest uh, in science and math because of this peer pressure, the, me the media influence, and this has to be thing because you are a girl. Teenager girls don't want to be seen as smart. I don't mean they want to be seen as they are stupid. They just want to be average. They just want to be these cool girls, popular girls. No one wants to be a nerdy girl, right? That's why they want just to do well at math. Not good, not better than guys also. Empowerment, but I, when I tell empowerment, I don't mean it's about making girls strong. It's not about making girls more, more male, let's say. 
it's about helping them to discover their strengths, about making the best out of it. And we don't want to empower girls to become future tech leaders. And we need more heroes, we need more leaders. We definitely need more female leaders. Every industry, every community, every company, every country needs a diversity of thought. The research shows that girls want to make the world a better place. Females are also much more committed when they choose their path, when they choose their job, because they want to do something great. They want to make positive change. They want to give all the good they have. And we are also currently conducting a survey and we are looking for heroes, we are looking for female heroes in order to ask them several questions. What motivated them to get started in coding, in programming? What do they like doing it? What has inspired them? And one of the questions, what is coding for them and what they can do with the help of coding? And I want to share with you one photo from our recent workshop. And these are the girls, they're between seven and 10 years old and they're very happy, smiley and proud because they have successfully made their first animation with the help of code. And yeah, this is the result. Uh, when we didn't start, how did we do that? We didn't start from scratch, we have started with the help of Scratch. Scratch helps young people to learn to think creatively, reason systematically and work collaboratively in order to acquire essential skills of the 21st century. In fact, every girl, no matter how old she is, whether she's seven or she's 27, she can get started with Scratch in order to create stories, games, animations, and even share with the others around the world. Apart from workshops, coding girls offer an opportunity to organize coding girls clubs. Because it's a great way to of teaching girls how to code. And you can basically start a club, um, school, library, community center, co-working. You just need computers, you need uh, internet connection, and you need a club facilitator or advise a mentor who can help girls. Coding girls clubs are easy to organize and the clubs give a safe and supportive environment of peers and role models to learn to see themselves as computer scientists, to see themselves as programmers. But that's not all. We also organize coding girls meetups. And these meetups are created to meet like-minded coding girls, share your story, ask a question, get inspired and motivated, and even deliver a speech. Because women need to become confident speakers and good listeners. And we, they can have this chance at the meetups. Of course, like every organization, we have our days. It's Coding Girls Conference. We dream big. And our vision is to empower all the girls around the Europe to get started and pursue their career in tech. We want the g all the girls around the Europe to access the same materials and to, get to, give to have the equal chance to get started. It's up to them whether they will like it or not, but they should believe that they can if they want. The good thing also about Coding Girls community that you can create a Coding Girls community basically wherever you are and even start a Coding Girls club in your city and organize meetups. But you may think that coding as a skill is not enough. And you're right. The question is what girls can do with code, what they can create that make this dramatic, tremendous change. First thing, that's why we created Coding Girls Community, because we want girls to have a sense of community, role models, mentors, like-minded people, and to give them support and environment, empowerment in order to get started in coding and change the world. And let's see what girls can do with code. No, what happened? No girl. Can someone help me, please? Ah. Oh, where is the sound? As we're growing up, we're usually taught that there's a very distinct separation between fields, design, art, engineering, business. And sometimes you may not know what you want to do, or sometimes you want to do all of them. I am Aya Fair. I'm the founder and CEO of Little Biz. I'm an engineer and an interactive. 
active artist. We are at Little Bits headquarters in New York City where we are designing electronic building blocks for everybody to be able to invent with. We want to show you that small things can make very big things happen. There is a very distinct moment where you snap them and you realize that was all you and it's magical and suddenly a world opens up to you and these ideas start rushing into your head. That's the same moment that happens when you're coding when you put your first few lines of code together and suddenly it says hello world, that moment is undescribable and it gives you such empowerment and such confidence. Everyone wants to play, everyone wants to invent, everyone wants to create and code really allows you to do that. It doesn't matter whether you're a girl or a boy, it doesn't matter whether you're six or 22, all of us have these same tools available to us uh, and code is a very powerful one of them that can enable you to do whatever you want to do better. In 20 years, I want to see a world where everybody is designing their own lives, their own clothes, their own electronics, their own paths, and just be innovators every day and learning every day and curious every day and not worry about which bucket they fit into. So, if that is not convincing enough, I want to tell you some more examples. The first one is Wonder Girl, and she is a music producer, which is 20 years old, and she's making beats for Jay-Z and Kenny West. Another one is Erika Kochi. She, she has traveled to Nigeria, and she saw a main problem that only one in three childbirths are officially registered and she helped to create UNICEF Innovation Unit in order to, for kids to get all the necessary medication, medi uh, medica medication <laughs> med medicine. Uh, Brittany Wenger, she's uh, fighting breast cancer and she saw that it's very hard for doctors and technology to detect breast cancer. That's why she created, designed a program which enables to detect breast cancer quicker and uh, less intrusive, less invasive. But you're probably thinking, hmm, I am a man, and what does it have to do with me, right? And I want to tell you that you can also become a part of Coding Girls community, and you can help to develop us curriculum for Coding Girls clubs. You can participate at the speaker at Coding Girls meetups in order to share the same lesson, to share your experience to encourage girls. I see some are laughing. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Basically what you can do to help, because only women cannot help closing gender gap. We need also your support. And we need to make sure that once we help girls to get started in coding, once we empower women to become future tech leaders, become leaders of nowadays, become more confident, when they come to work, they need to have a supportive and safe working environment so they can stay, so they don't, need this, they don't need to leave when they feel not at ease, let's say. And Burgas also has a lot of potential and you can unlock this potential very easy because there is a community and you can become a lead of community and get started in with coding girls and uh, coding girls will create coding girls community and we will provide you with all the necessary guidance but that's not all you can do it no matter where you are based you can do it in Sofia in Varna and maybe even abroad it's easy to start and we can support you change is possible we believe that change is possible with code and if you'd like to make a difference you can start by becoming a part of our initiative, you can start a club, you can become a volunteer or mentor, speaker, you can support as a sponsor or partner. But the smallest thing what all of you can do, probably you have a friend or a colleague or daughter or niece or any female who would like to get started in technology already works in this field, you can spread the world about uh, the spread the word about our initiative on social media. And 
the last but not the least. You cannot choose to be born a girl or a boy, but what we can choose is to have a more diverse and inclusive community for all of us. And I want us together to create more, more inspiring, more inclusive, more diverse community where you want and you will be able to make the world a better place. And yeah, I hope to see more females next year in Burgas. Come. And thank you for your attention. You can follow us on Twitter, you can ask a question. Thank you. So we have time, time for questions now. Anna, can we also ask questions in Bulgarian as well? Ще пробвам да отговоря. Може би, не знам, да, добре. Добре, така че, както се почувствате на английски, на български, в Фейсбук, в Твитър. Е, даже е момиче. Супер! Удобно ли ти, ако въпросът е на български, ако искаш на английски? Както ти е удобно. Ако искаш да ме пита на български, аз ще пробвам да отговоря. Добре, ако нещо не разбере, скажи. Според мен това, което е най-хубаво на IT-сферата като цяло е, че всеки може да започне. Имам предвид, просто сядаш, нещо ти е интересно и почваш да го учиш сам. И според мен е това, което поне аз чувствам е, че когато на толкова много конференции се говори за джендър габ, джендър габ, това по-скоро, примерно, аз в момента работя като мрежови администратор. В старата ми работа Тим лидера на СИСАДМИН екипа беше жена, тим лидера на Тех Сапорта беше жена и на QA беше жена. И общо ето не мисля, че в реалната сфера, поне аз не съм срещала такива проблеми и такива разделения на полове и съм се чувствала комфортно и на всичките места, където съм била. И според мен е по-ценно да имам повече чисто технически конференции, конференции като тази, където можеш да срещнеш професионалисти, без значение какъв пол и каквото и да е, които просто някой има повече опит в това, друг има повече опит в друго и просто да черпиш информация от тях, а не толкова да се стимулира да... Всеки гони нещо, което му е интересно и поне в IT-то можеш сам да го научиш и според мен толкова много да се говори около този джендър габ, може би по-скоро повишава проблема, отколкото да го намалява. Е, въпросът е? Еми, добре. Благодаря ти, че сподели. Аз мисля, че всичко зависи от човека. Ако ти си outgoing, easygoing person, може да отиваш и да писаш. Но някакви жени се притесняват. Понякога аз срещнам жени и тя говоря Аз съм just a front-end developer. Еми, аз съм a programmer. Когато говориш с мъж, той говоря Аз съм programmer. Така. Това е разликата. Всичко зависи от човека. Може би да, да не насочваме толкова повече внимания, но аз говоря не за хейтрит, не за някаква злоба, аз говоря за те, че можем да почнем от малки и да помагам на малки и можем да почнем с големи. Сега с тези митап, мъжета също могат да включат. Това не е да ограничаваме само за жени. Това е дейта. Hey Anna, do you think uh, the main issue is uh, the difference between men and women being social animals, more particularly uh, developers being more focused on being antisocial and staying at home and developing instead of going out and partying as girls and being popular and stuff like that? So the question is whether girls are more social and men are less social, right? As developers. As developers. I mean, I think it depends on the person, actually. I cannot tell that it really depends on what, is, what, what do your friends do or like-minded people. So if you are yourself more open-minded, outgoing, that probably you would like to go also to the conference, as the lady said, and you would like to ask a question, to give a talk. But yeah depends on the person. But uh, thanks to such conferences where everyone can participate, no matter you are social, less social or anti-social, you can have a sense of community, right? Hope that answers your question. Thanks a lot. Yeah, quick question. Uh, do you measure the uh, efficacy of these uh, calling girls uh, camps on or whatever 
And how do you measure the success? I mean, uh, is it like, oh, we got like 20 new girls into like coding, like professionally or something like that? So, so, so the question, what is the question? Would you uh, please do you measure the success of these uh, coding camps and stuff? How do I imagine the success? No, how do you measure the success? How do I measure the success? Yes. In order to measure the success, you need to get started. And if you, once you develop the community, then you can find the criteria on which do you measure. And also depends on your goals, which goals do you put. That so you can measure the success. And once we will have more working engineers, more managers, and more females who want to study to pursue their career in tech, probably that's already a success, no? And when a woman comes to me and says, I am a programmer and she's confident and I do believe her, I think that's success. Thank you a lot. What do you say it in English, please? Do you know about the Rails Girls Foundation? Rails. Yeah, I've heard do. about them. Yeah. yeah. What, what do you think about them? Can you partner with them or something? Probably. I would be interested in partnership. Yes. Can Do you know some it? of them? Sorry? Yeah, I know some of them. We some of the organizers of the conference. Great. So we can talk afterwards and yeah, I'd be glad to partner. But do you know about them? What do you think about them? They do the same thing practically. Do they do the same things or do they do with kids? Do they do the same thing? Do you think it's the same? Maybe to a certain extent it's the same as they develop helping girls, but they help kids as far as I know to get started, which are not oriented or? Actually... Okay, we can talk afterwards and you can tell me more about it. Здравейте. И винаги съм се чудил, защо е тази инициатива за жени кодинг, смисъл кодинг гроз. Какво е ишото там? Не разбирам защо има разделение между жени и мъже. При положение, че съм виждал добри инженери и жени и мъже. Никога не съм разбирал. За технологии говорите ли? Във всяка сфера, и в менеджмента, и в чисто технологичните професии винаги е имало добри инженери и мъже и жени. Никога не съм разбирал защо е това ишо. Въпросът е философски, нали, защо има така, или защо аз насочвам внимание за жени. Защото те трябват подкрепа. Аз ви презентирах, мога да ви дам повече факта, повече информация. Защото ако имаме 50 на 50, има 50 жени в технологии, няма проблем. Ако има толкова малък процент и тези предикшен за фьючер, например, че през 2020 година ще има толкова много работни места и ако няма жени да насочат внимание към тези професии, какво ще правят? Или правят тези low-paid jobs? Не говорим само предимно за България, защото мисля, че в България ситуация не е толкова лоша. Имаме 30% жени, какви работят в IT-сфера. Но как се чувстват? Имат ли някакво предснение? Има ли нужда от подкрепа? Има ли нужда от тези хора, които могат да разделят тези интереси, които тези имат? Надявам се, че това ще отговаря на ваш въпрос. Можем да говорим след конференцията. Благодаря ви. Хай, Анна. Ето е Стоил тук. Проблем, което ме върши този фрейм е, че това, 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 Like for me, I, I, I just counted during the presentation and I think that I, I actually know more women managers in IT sector in Bulgaria than, okay. than men. But so uh, probably this brings the, the flame order and what, what the colleague says and what we all saw here is that uh, in Bulgaria this, this is quite well and you, you just said it. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe, maybe the question is uh, wh where do you live, where do you work? and uh, where we can bring, uh, for, for the first time, we can bring a good example from Bulgaria to the world, so, so we can show them how to do but it. But then we have role models. <laughs> well, on, on, on local level, I mean, I, I don't know a famous name 
in, in a big company, in, in a worldwide company. But in Bulgaria, That's yeah, I, very I know good a, to get a lot to of know. majors, women okay. and girls that, that are majors for, for plenty of years that do very well with technology, that know a lot. I, I have, I have take, taken an example from, from many girls and women. Okay, so you mean we don't have a problem, or? I would, I would, I would be brave enough to, to say that we don't actually have a problem in Bulgaria. Really. Okay, we are also I conducting a survey where women are sharing their story and we ask what is the most challenging part of being in coding and they could maybe answer some of the questions what you as a man don't might see. Okay, sure. But, right. uh, but, I but what I would be happy to do, for example, for me, I would be happy to share my, uh, probably ask the other question that I wanted to ask is uh, how many uh, male uh, mentors do you have in, in coding girls? Because I would be happy to say what I have uh, found as experience through, through the years. So you coding. would like to become a mentor? Definitely. Oh, great. That's great Definitely. news. I would. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Thanks. Sure. Well, we can talk. Great. And before I pass the mic on to Alex, I would like to make a quick disclaimer that actually me, Margi, Stuyo, and Simo are both from the same high school, which deals with uh, software, hardware, and uh, network administration. And this school is notorious for having uh, very few girls every year. There are classes without any girls. I was in such a class. So. Yeah, uh, with the years it's getting better and better. For example, I was the only girl in my class. I was in okay. networking class. And to, uh, this year there are for one hundred... Over 16 out of 100. Over 18 or 20 girls out of uh, 100 students accepted in this year's class. Yeah. And percent, but it's very, very high quality girls. <laughs> And actually for uh, the all five years in the school, uh, I've never felt uh, less competent, less uh, not so good as them or something like this. Even I help them a lot. I've learned a lot of them. I mean, a lot of things from, from these guys. And uh, actually, I do believe that it is more important to concentrate or giving the chance for the, uh, for the young people to get to know the technology as well and to have uh, more professionals to talk to, uh, to the young people because maybe the, the biggest problem, the bigger problem which we face is that the young people don't uh, know how to focus and uh, how to get to the things, uh, not so much about the separation between girls and boys. Okay, so you mean we need more workshops, we need more conferences, right? Okay, that's a good thing, but we can... Okay. But as you saw, I'm not dwelling only about on the problem. Dwelling also that we can have meetups where coding girls, but also guys can be part of it. Yeah. Not, I'm not excluding, I'm not telling that we only on women should focus, but we should help everyone to get started. So from early age that girls are considering these jobs, these tech careers basically. Yeah, uh, but honestly, what I found for a role model, for example, from our school there, uh, really good connection with the people who are graduated. And for example, they're really good managers, uh, they have really good positions in uh, good companies. And what I found for a role model is peop are people who, who achieve things that I want to get up to them. And uh, they're not women, they're men, but okay. they motivate me to work hard and to get to my dreams. Okay, that's great. Uh, I think that a good example of the, this problem, of the problem of women in tech, is the recent Uber scandal, because it's not only about learning, it's also about the acceptance of girl coders. So, uh, what is your opinion on this topic, and how do you think that this should be handled? You meant that inclusion in tech, or? Yeah, and more specifically, this uh, Uber situation that happened recently with the sex scandal. And those, I don't know if you've heard about this. Could you tell us more? We can discuss afterwards. You can share more it's about this. It's probably this. better to discuss it afterwards because it's really a broad topic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find you after the talk. Okay, so we can talk afterwards, right? Yeah, great. Thank you. Thanks for the question. We actually have two questions online. Okay. The first one is from a friend of mine. Uh, she asks, what do you think about uh, the statistics that on average there are more girls, uh, there are more boys going to math classes mm -hmm. in or, uh, before going into high school than girls. 
this is the first but that's what i told about question. teenager age that, mm -hmm. that the girls when they become teenagers they lose their interest because they want all these girly that nice dresses to have hanging out partying makeup and they start to lose interest in mass that's basically what i've told in the presentation I, if you want i can text more to your friend and you can tell me a contact and i can call write an email provide more information data okay Thank you. And the question, and we have a question from Twitter. And I quote: how, "How can you go on about empowering women when women are natural followers? Do you know anything <laughs> about history? This is a bit of a, this is why I quoted wow. It I see someone wanted just to to become more um, agitated. Yeah. yeah. As you can see, actually, what I wanted to tell three example in uh, from the history." Maybe we, maybe people don't really know. For example, Ada Lovelace. She's she's regarded as the first computer scientist, and she saw the potential of technology. But le less and less, maybe people know about it because when we think about technology, we think about some other more important figures. And women were suppressed for many years. That's why they were told, with the help of religion, with the help of power, they were told that they should stay at home, take care of kids, and be follower, be a caring woman. But women still, still can be caring and, st and be, be happy with what they do in their careers. If they make a positive change, but also one of the things about women, that when they start, when they choose a career, when they pursue their path, they want to do something important, meaningful. They want to give, they want to give the best what they have in them. Thanks. Thanks. Um, do we have any questions? <laughs> How comfortable you are with Bulgarian? I'm comfortable with Bulgarian. Um, I like Bulgarian. I speak some Bulgarian. Yeah, I will try to answer your question. Yeah. The situation is the Това, което казаха по-рано, че масово не ходят на математиката е вярно. Също информатиката, аз съм информативна паралелка, просто не виждам същата заинтересованост, както момчетата. Вече няма същите социални догми, както преди. Имате ни същи права, ни същи задължения. Не мисля, че нещо ги спира от това просто да преследват мечтите си. Самият характер на човек е доста по-определящ от това дали е мъж или жена. И преди всичко мисля, че трябва да се гледа характера преди пола. Въпросът е, че всичко завише на човека, или? Иска да кажа, няма разлика между жени или мъже в смисъл. В това, ако имаш мечта и искаш да я следваш, нищо не може да те спира, нали? Да, и нещо, един друг въпрос. I think it will be more proper in English. Why we, when I say empower women, it's considered normal, but when I say empower men, it's suddenly very offensive. I think everyone needs empowerment. And you mean like it's... Yeah, maybe because we consider it's also a prejudice, it's also a stereotype. We consider men to be stronger, but they also need empowerment. I don't mean that they don't need empowerment, but they have role models and they have friends and there are more maybe opportunities, possibilities to get started in tech. I don't mean those that it's easier for them. I don't mean it. it's maybe more competitive. It's also harder, but that's up to the person to be strong and to stay focused and to keep going. Well, now the universities uh, have quotas and uh, they are diverse. Uh, a certain percentage for men, a certain per percentage for women. And uh, since uh, very few are women apply, they can get uh, quite easier into STEM-related subjects because uh, there isn't so much women applying there. Mm -hmm. But getting doesn't mean staying. If you face the barriers, you will be maybe more prone to quit. 
the barriers that I have presented. That's just an example. I can provide you more details with the major barriers when women start working. That's why I'm talking right now here, and I'm talking also to men, so men who treat women when they have their colleagues. Probably men are treating. I don't mean that men don't want to treat them, but, but those who maybe don't quite understand that, I present the data, the research that was made, and the women that gave their opinions answers. Uh, can I ask for your sources of uh, Yeah, of course. Data? The presentation I will show you. I mean, I can tell you more. I have presented in my presentation, have presented the links, the sources, but I can send you a direct link. You can give me your email and I can present you more data. What do you think? Okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I think maybe we should yes. talk <laughs> there. I hope I have answered the most interesting questions. And you can also... Ask me on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Yeah. Anna is also available until the end of the conference, unless I'm mistaken. So you can also grab her in the lobby. And now I'm going to announce that we have a 10 minute break before the next presentation. Give it up for Anna. Thank you. <laughs>